वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रिदेश धोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स राइट सो हियर टू अंडरस्टैंड इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स लेट अस हैव फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो हियर क्वेश्चन इज अ मोनोक्रोमेटिक प्लेन ऑफ ई एम वेव ट्रावेल्स इन वैक्यूम इन पॉजिटिव एक्स डिरेक्शन द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एक्सप्रेशन कैन बी एक्सप्रेसड एज so see here what is given here it is given that em waves are traveling in positive x direction so one should know see what is em wave see em wave is a combination of e field and magnetic field right and if you write that in terms of magnetic field intensity then i need to say it is h you can write that in b form e1 so it is e cross b or one can say e cross h right so direction of em wave that is e cross h and here what is given direction of em wave that is there in positive x direction so ax direction that is the case which is given to us so how to write em wave equation right so first of all we need to know how many ways by which we can have ax with e cross h right so one can have ax as per ay cross az right this is one way second is if ay is negative in that case all i need to do is i need to do az cross minus of ay sometimes you will be having ay is negative right now if you have az negative then again we need to have minus of az cross ay so that is how three ways are there by which we can have positive x direction propagation of em wave now next is one should know there is zero phase difference in between e and h there should be zero phase difference in between e and h so let us try to see that with respect to standard form so you see i am writing standard form e is equals to e0 if i say sin then omega t minus k and here direction is there in x direction so i need to say kx right and magnetic field that is h is equals to h0 sin omega t minus kx it should be written in this way right now here you see what is given to us so if ay is negative right then here there will be negative sign and if you see e cross h it is like this so in that case you see if ax is happening as per ay cross az so here e is ay and h is az right but if you have opposite combination right so in that case what will happen now you see e and h this equation will be same e0 sin omega t minus kx and h0 sin omega t minus kx but if i say ay is negative right means this is negative in that case means any one of this is negative in that case now you see az that is there with e so here now there will be az and ay that is there with h so if this is negative then also this the this is the direction of e and h and if this is negative and this is positive then the, then also direction of vf is is like this right so that is how one can identify propagation equations right so one should know there can be any combination like one another possible combination is so here it will be az and here it will be ay so see e0 that is negative right now right 
so this is negative right now and because of that now there is az over here and ay over here right and there can be another possibility where both are negative so if both are negative in that case this minus minus that will make it to plus so here negative sign that we can place right in that case e will be there in ay direction and h will be there in az direction and instead of sign there can be cosine e1 right so it is not like sine is only the function which represents electric field and magnetic field there can be cosine function also right let us have few more questions so next question is see in electromagnetic wave in free space the root mean square value of electric field is 6 volt per meter so here e rms that is given 6 voltage per meter the peak value of magnetic field is how much so our question is to identify peak value not rms value remember this peak value that is the question right now see the basic formula of ERMS and HRMS that we know ERMS divided by HRMS that is equals to intrinsic impedance. So that is eta and that value is 120 pi. So based on that we can have HRMS. So HRMS that is 6 divided by 120 pi right and if you calculate this this will be 0.01592 ampere per meter now based on hrms we can have magnetic field brms right so that is mu 0 mu r h now see free space is having mu r is equals to 1 and mu 0 is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and if you solve this you will be having brms value and that will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 tesla now if you wanted to have peak value means b max then that is b rms into root 2 so we will be having peak value of magnetic field that is 2 root 2 that is 2.82 into 10 to the power minus 8 tesla right so this is how we can solve problems now there is one more way by which we can solve this problem where we can have E by B is equals to velocity of light. This formula that can be used to solve same problem and you, and you will be getting same answer. Right. Let us have one more question. So next question is the velocity of electromagnetic radiation in medium of permeativity epsilon 0 and permeability mu zero is given by how much see velocity of em wave that is given by one by square root of mu zero epsilon zero in free space right and if it is there with medium then for medium it is given by c is equals to one by square root of mu zero mu r epsilon zero epsilon r right for medium it is like this and if you place values of mu 0 and epsilon 0 then you will be finding mu 0 is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and epsilon 0 is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 and if you solve this you will be finding this is c is equals to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so that is what the case which we have it for free space I hope you have understood this video and you just place your queries in comment box. I'll be happy to help you.